the song, come on in the club. Put it up, put it up, put it up. Turn it up, turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. Turn it up. This is your girl Fina. How are you all doing today? So today I'm back again with another reaction video. So today I'm reacting to Dr. Phil's video, one of his videos. I've watched this video some time ago. I even posted it on my Facebook and on my TikTok. So the reaction that I got, like the comments that I got on my Facebook was really diverse. So I'm going to put some of the comments here for you all to see. So the comments are diverse. People were giving their own opinion, which is okay. Look, it is your own opinion. Okay, what you feel is what you're saying. So you're not saying it because it's what someone else would think. You're saying it because it's how you feel. So it is your opinion. And don't forget, your opinion is your entitlement. You're entitled to your own opinion. So yeah, that is the comment section for you. Please don't forget to leave whatever you think in the comment section. So let me know your thoughts about this very video that we're about to watch in the comment section. So I'm going to start it. Okay, yeah, so we're about to start. Let's carry on. You say that you don't think you're spoiled. Why not? I'm not spoiled at all. I just feel like I deserve the lifestyle that I have and my allowance should be raised more. I don't see that as being spoiled. Okay, and so why do you believe that you deserve this? You're entitled to it. I deserve this because my parents are stressful, especially my mom. <laughs> like, They're stressful? Yes, they stress me out. Sorry, guys, but I have to start it with laughing. This is not the right way to start it, guys, but I'm so sorry. I have to start this video with laughing. My parents are so stressful. <laughs> they stress him out, and that's why he deserves his allowance. Okay, let's carry on. Hmm. Hey, God, have mercy. <laughs> you can they see that lady. She mounted it. Oh, my God. How did they do that? Mm -hmm. I get wrinkles in my face. <laughs> because of the stress? Yes. You get wrinkles. Well, I'm... <laughs> I did not get my... Hey. Well, I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> um, how do they stress He's you? He's so what serious. He's not even joking. That causes you to be stressed? Um, trying to stop me from shopping. Shopping is my therapy. <laughs> it's retail therapy? Yes, retail therapy. And what I'm trying to stop me is stressful. Okay. That's all I know. That's yeah. all he shop, knows. Shop. Shopping yeah. is shop, shop, all shop. he knows. Okay. Shop, shop, shop. Now, you, you said something earlier that I'm just, I guess I'm out of the flow. But you said you don't want your drip to be corny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What the His hell does that mean? Dollars. What, what Someone that is not working, his shoes is $1,000. Right here, $1,000, Louboutins. Are you kidding me? What is drip? This is drip, drip, stuff that costs money. Oh, it's like your style? Yeah. It's the most expensive purchase that you've made with, on a designer item? Um, my Givenchy book bag. And what'd that cost? A thousand dollars. A thousand dollars? And some change. And some you've got change. A, Rolex. a little child no, it was like this. To me. Oh, okay. That so was that wasn't with my money. Okay. All right. So you, you've got a Rolex, you, you carry these designer bags and designer shoes yep. and all. Um, how much money do you make? Mm -hmm. I, I know your That's brother a good makes question. money. Yeah. How, how much, much money, money do you make? Mm -hmm. um, I don't make no money. You don't make no money. Did nope. you hear that? <laughs> God, that how, work, how does that work out? I'd like to get on that program. Yeah. Uh -huh. You're not working, boy. You I buy like designer design stuff. stuff. Are you if kidding it's not design, me? I'm not going to wear it. Yeah, I like hair, but I don't have. <laughs> I like designer stuff. If it's not designer, I'm not going to wear it. Did you hear that? Do you know what? He's just a child. He's talking. This came from somewhere. I am sorry. That is why I said I am giving my own two cents. Okay? It is my own opinion. I have children. Okay? So, I am talking as I know that I don't have any teenager. Yes. I'm talking as a mom. My kids are not teenagers yet. I grew up in a house where my dad passed away when we were little. I have six brothers. Six brothers. Nobody helped my mom. It was my mom all by herself. So, yeah, when I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you as a mom and someone that grew up in a house with boys. So, I'm not talking to you like someone that doesn't have experience. Like, this thing this boy is doing here is from somewhere. He didn't just grow up seeing designers. 
He didn't just grow up, start thinking shop, 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 shop. Someone took him to that shop one, two, three times that made him start loving shopping. Whatever you do, one thing I want you to understand before we start this thing, just have this in mind. Kids, they are like sponge. You know sponge? When you put water in it, it holds the water. And when you press it, the water goes. That is kids. Whatever you put in is what you get. Whatever you put in them is what you get back. If you don't train them well, if you don't tell them the right thing to do when they are little, you can't just start like, you know, I tell mom, I went, I tell moms, I went, you have to make out time for your children. Now they are little. Not when they are grown, they've known everything. You want to start coming in their room unannounced. That will be the time they will tell you, knock before you come in. Do this before you do that. No, you have to be present. It's not a gift. I've heard someone, I've heard someone say that, oh, I provide everything my kids want. I make sure they go to the best school. I make sure I provide them with the designer clothes they need. I give them the best nanny in the world. And in my head, I'm like, you've not even said the right thing they need. Your kids don't need your money. Do we know that? Your money is secondary in their life. Every other thing you're providing for them is secondary in their life. The main thing they need is your presence. They need your presence. When you are there, there's some certain things. I've worked in a nursery. I'm working in a school. There's some certain things someone outside you or your family member cannot do to your child. That There's some certain things a child will be doing. As a mom, you will go, no, don't do that. And someone that is outside will just go, yeah, don't do it. There's different ways of saying it. The kids will understand. It depends on, I don't really know how to put this, but I know where I'm coming from. I'm coming from experience. I don't whip my kids. I don't do them, but my kids know when mommy is serious. My kids look at me in the eye. They know, mm -mm -mm, we're not taking this. Okay. Do you know, <laughs> let me give you a story. When my kids were little, one day, Lotana was doing something and I was looking at him. And I had my friends there and he was doing that. I wasn't finding that funny and I just looked at him like, he went, mommy, is that a serious face or are you playing? And I just gave him the look. He told his brother, stop, stop. Mommy is not playing, <laughs> you know, like I didn't answer him, but they know, like they can read my face and know when not to misbehave. No. And another thing is not like, okay, I don't have the money. Like you can say, he said his parents are rich. I am not rich. That is the difference. But I try not to splurge my kids with expensive stuff i give them the necessary things they need they are children you are building their brain so what they need is necessary things necessary things they need to grow up as a child and not designers this boy didn't just start buying this designer now he's tired from somewhere till now but let's just carry on please i've been ranting forever it, it, I, I get that you like it mm -hmm. But what entitles you to mm -hmm. have it if you haven't earned it? I do earn it. Cleaning my room. <laughs> so that's a job for me. Shopping. That's a job Cleaning for me. Cleaning his room and shopping yeah. is a job uh, for him. Did you hear that? I guess that is a bit of a chore yes. because let it's me get this right. Is it true that your mother moved you into the master bedroom? So you could have a walk-in closet and she's living down the hall in one of the other bedrooms? Yeah, the littlest room in the house. She's living in the smallest room in the house? Yeah. And you're in the master suite? Yeah, with the walk-in closet. Why? Um, because I want it. <laughs> so what I want, I take. I can't carry what on What you now. want? <laughs> she moved him into the master's bedroom. And she moved to the small room in the house. Why? Because I want it. What I want, I take. Like, seriously, do you want me to say anything in this? To me, I feel like I shouldn't say a word. She moved into the small bedroom. She gave him the master's bedroom. Because why? Because I want it. And what I want, I will take. Did you hear that? Hey, <laughs> God. But I'm sorry though, I don't know about every other house, but my house, no, my kids can't want and take what they want. No, no, no. It's my house. My rules. At my own expenses, you have to stick to it. 
You don't want to take whatever you want. Do you see how bold he's saying it? Like he's not even saying, oh God, God. Guys, let's carry on, please. Let's carry on. Please don't forget to leave your opinion. Please don't forget to leave your opinion in the comment section. I really want to read what people think about this. Please, please, please. Comment, please. I want this. Shopping brings me true happiness because it's just my therapy. Other luxury things that I like other than shopping is going to the fanciest steakhouses like Del Fresco, Ocean Prom, Brew Chris, going like on vacations, like fancy five star hotels. Some places I would love to visit is Paris because that's just like the fashion capital. I just love all the luxury stuff that they have. So I will never stop shopping because shopping is just like a part of my life. <laughs> Well, Ronald says he believes that all kids deserve his allowance because parents, well, they're just stressful and they need to pay for that. And he says he's actually getting wrinkles from the stress of, of his parenting. Well, the problem that I'm having with my son Ronald is I give him a thousand dollars allowance a month, and he wants a extra fifteen hundred to support his luxury and designer clothes. He's not getting it. I am going to get it. He's not getting. I'm it. going to get it. And he loves the compliments that he gets on his clothes. He just like always been obsessed with designer things. He always think in his mind that he's a celebrity. He's like, oh, I can get that and I can get all the attention. Ronald's dream is to be a YouTuber because he thinks the YouTubing is everything. How are you going to make your own money? By posting videos. You get paid from, from I mean, YouTube for making videos. He can make all this guys, money. Guys, please and subscribe, buy, like, you know, I share. I need to make money from this YouTube. You can see him say, by posting videos, you need to make a lot of money from posting. And I've been posting for how many years now? Please, I'm still on 500 and please. Please, please subscribe. Please share. I need to make money out of this. I've tried though. I know that I don't wear designers, but I am trying. Subscribe, share, and subscribe. <laughs> please subscribe. I need to make money. You can see Roland said it. Never knew there's this much money on YouTube. With his lavish lifestyle, he wants to be a YouTuber and he is thinking of making it by posting videos. That easy. Please subscribe. I've been posting since I'm on 600, 500. And please, please help your sister. Let's carry on. Hmm. This closet is way bigger than mine. You can tell that he's very spoiled. I have like a little <laughs> small closet. <laughs> he has a larger walking closet. She's laughing. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, guys. I don't have any single pity for this woman. Why is she laughing? This is not funny. She is spoiled. Who spoiled this child? Because she's working how many hours? Did you hear how many hours she's working? What time do you have for this child? You've been working hours. What time do you make up for this child? That is how the spoiled started. He is spoiled. He didn't just come into this world and get spoiled. Something, someone taught him the life that he's got. You are working, you're giving him allowance. Because maybe he's got like care, people coming in to look after him and all that. And now you have to pay for it. I know you could say, oh, he's spoiled. You're not getting this. You're not getting that. You're laughing. No, seriously, this is not a joking matter. This is not a joke at all. Let's carry on. I'm going to get you... everything. My allowance raised my car. He's just not getting it. He has to get a job. No, it's not going to happen. Ronald's uh, not thinking he about want college. To He's His not getting a job. Is just He's not going to college. And making millions. Yeah. Ronald needs a real big reality check. If I don't get my 1500, you probably won't see me in this house. <laughs> He's not gonna you, see. You've been she's this not going to see him in this house if he doesn't get his 1500. So, having... guys, yeah. hey, <laughs> God. Sound like to... I'm not going to, to get a job. Support... All these things that he wants. He's I just feel like he needs yeah, to further his education for us going to college or I'm not going to a college. trade school. Okay. Right. He's not going to college no, as well. No, he's, no, he's a YouTuber, but like a thought. Do you have a YouTube yeah. channel? Yeah, I do. And you 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 created that <laughs> in January. It's now the fall. Hmm. Um, January, they are in fall when they did the How video. many videos have you put? The one video and then I deleted it. <laughs> So in the entire year, <sighs> you put up one video and took it out. And yeah. he wants to be a YouTube billionaire. Are you though. kidding me? I think I know what's wrong with him. Yes, that is what I'm saying. My question is, what's that's wrong exactly with what I'm you? saying. 
I know what's wrong with him. Yeah. He didn't just fall from anywhere and start this attitude. The problem is, what is wrong with the parents? They are the ones that started this. He didn't just come into this world and start this attitude. He didn't just come into this world and start putting up attitude. He started the attitude from somewhere. He learned this from somewhere. And even him not learning it from somewhere, someone allowed him to carry on with this attitude. Someone let him think is the right thing to do that made him come to where he is now, pulling it up like it is his right. It's my right to get your money. It's my right to get a car. It's my right to do this. It's my right to do this. With whose money? Your money. Am I going to work? No, I'm not working. Am I going to college? No, I'm not going to college. But I'm going to live a big boy's life. From whose pocket? Your pocket, mommy. Are you having a laugh? Let's carry on. The job of a parent is to prepare a child for the next level of life yes. and to live independently. I tried to push him to get a job. I helped him. Your job no, as a wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you preparing him for the next level of life? No. You're giving him something for nothing. Mm -hmm. Is that how the world works? No. Does the world work where he just comes into an employer and says, <laughs> I'm the I need king, that and I want the <laughs> top salary here at the okay, company. Okay, okay, take And they go, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, oh, great. No. Yeah. That's yeah. not how the world works, but that's what you're teaching him. Now, Ronald says... He uses retail therapy to make himself better because his mom, because his mom is always, is always at, work. at work. But is he willing to you. take a smaller allowance or no allowance so she doesn't have to work as much? No, I'm not. It's not that easy. This is a life, you know. Yeah. It's not that easy. They have to take it gradually to start to see if they can amend something in his life. They have to take it slow but steady. It's not that easy to just cut it all off like that. Oh no! Oh no! Let me see what she said. Let me, let me, let me ask you something. You're living in in a small bedroom in your house, and he's in the master suite. Who pays for this house? I do. But you put him in the master suite and you go down the hall and live in a smaller bedroom. Why is that? What, I, what did you say to yourself to make that okay? <laughs> well, I gave him the, the bigger room because he has a lot more clothes than I do. Mm. I just let him take the, the bigger room with all his clothes and, and I took the small. But is he willing to take a smaller allowance or no allowance Okay, his face. So she doesn't have to work as much. <laughs> He's not. No, I'm not. <laughs> you might know I'm not. She's yeah. gonna work more than raise my allowance. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Let me, let me, let me ask you something. You're living in a, in a small bedroom in your house, and he's in the master suite. Who pays for this house? I do. But <gasps> you put him in the master suite, and you go down the hall and live in a smaller bedroom. Why is that? What, I, what did you say to yourself to make that okay? Well, I gave him the, the bigger room because he has a lot more clothes than I do. I just let him take the, the bigger room with all his clothes, and, and I took the smaller room. My question is why? I don't know. Because I'm okay. I just, I just need help with uh, reparenting. For us, this whole situation. Oh, no. She is walking and she feels like, okay, you know what? Let me just give him everything he wants because I'm not there for him. I am walking all the time. At least if I can't be present, if I can't be present in his life, at least let me be present in providing all he needs. So you know what? I'm just going to go to the smaller room and then give him the master's room and then buy him whatever he wants and then fix him in this 1,000 allowance a month. I don't know what to say, seriously. <laughs> I don't know where to start. If you know what to say on this very one now, put it in the comment section. I want to see your comment about this one. Like, how can you give a little child like this a thousand pounds allowance and you moved yourself to the smaller room and put him in the master's bedroom? Who does that? What else? Like, what exactly are you expecting of this child? Like, let's be honest. Like, what exactly are you expecting of a child that is being treated like this? What do you expect? To come out be the most brilliant child? To come out be the most... He is doing what he's, he's meant to do. He is being provided everything he needs. He washes his plate, he gets, he gets paid for that.
he does any chores at, at home, he gets paid for that. So what else do you want him to do? Like seriously, to be honest with you, I am not blaming this child one single bit. Whatever happens, happens from his upbringing. Everybody neglected the main thing that this boy needed in life, correction, upbringing, and guidance. Everyone was busy making money. When the Bible said the money is the root of all evil. Can you see that? We're busy chasing money. Everybody wants to work. I'll work one million hours. I will do this. I will do that. And then you end up having the money and end up losing the, main, the most important thing in your life. Which are your children? Once you are a mom, you are a dad. I am sorry. I'm just going to say it the way it is. To me, I feel like every parent's responsibilities are their children. See, when they grow up, that doesn't mean that when you put, put in effort and train your children, some of them won't be bad, but at least your conscience will be so clear for you. To, your conscience will be so clear to a point that you will be kind of like within yourself. You will know that I have done my job as a parent. I did everything I should do as a parent. I was there for you. I gave you the time you needed. I gave you the love you needed. I corrected you when needed. Where is this coming from? But when you are not there to watch what they do, when you give them money, you are not there to see what he's doing with that money. He comes home, he buys expensive stuff. Oh, I bought this. Oh, my shoe, my drip, my drip. He didn't just start dripping. He started from somewhere dripping. And now everyone is coming. Oh, he's a spoiled child. He's just doing what he, he knows how to do. You know how you go to school, you learn ABCD, you learn how to read and everything. Someone taught you that. Someone is teaching you. That is how you learn. You can't just stay at home without knowing anything and then start knowing it. You have to take a step. And that was exactly where this boy is. Let's just carry on. My mom thinks I have a spending and attitude problem. <laughs> Thanks. I want her to stop Ooh. picking on me. <laughs> I feel like she doesn't want me to have a normal teenage life. <laughs> no Every time I try to go out with my friends, she always wants to know where I'm going and who yeah, I'm going with. Yeah, she should with. know. Yes. I just want Dr. Phil to talk to my mom and get us on better terms as Aww. far as our relationship and see if he can get my allowance <laughs> raised. Oh, no, no it's going to happen. So. And, and I went to the Gucci store and bought a pair of $500 shoes and she got mad. Yes. I, I also this feel like my Jeez. allowance yes. should be raised because $400 every two weeks is not cutting it. It's not. She thinks she can control me <laughs> and the way I spend my money. Yeah, my money. Once she <laughs> gives me my allowance, that's my money. I get that's to do right. whatever I Once want to do with it. Once she gives it to that's you, it's your yours. Money. Once you give it to him, it's his. Yes. Until you give it to him, yes. it's yours. Yeah. You can take no, it down. Not happen. <laughs> her credit card went down missing, so. I'm sorry? Her credit card went down missing. He stole my credit card and charged up yeah. three That's to $400. We, you know, there's, a, there's a term that describes that behavior. Wow. It's called felony. <laughs> Your yes. credit card will get missing. Do you know what he does with these designer clothes you buy? He doesn't wear it more than once or twice, he throws it in the trash, or he'll pass it down to somebody. He'll wear a shirt one time and then throw it in the trash because he's not a repeater. Yes. Who's your audience, by the way? Who, who is it you're wearing these things for? <laughs> who my are you? fans. Your fans? Yes, yes. These are my fans, too. <laughs> Hi, God, help me. These are my fans, too. He thinks that he's like a celebrity, Dr. Phil. Your fans, what are they fans <laughs> of? My outfits. They're fans of the clothes your mommy buys you? Yes, no, yes, yes, but No, no, ah, you know, he buys. He buys. <laughs> I need mean, yeah, allowance. No. You, Micah, how much is that? Do you know what that is? No, I don't. That's taxes the government takes out of her check. So if she makes... Say two thousand. Well, how is he supposed to week, know this anyway? They come take a Nobody bite thought out of that him. The only thing he knows is money. They give, they give him the money. money. How much they give him money. That's the only thing costs. he knows. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't pay for insurance. <laughs> you don't pay for anything. <laughs> I don't income know. Income taxes. How I don't much? Know. How much does your mother pay in income taxes every year? I don't know. I don't your know. Your answer is in everything. I don't. In know. everything, he doesn't know nothing. You don't know what any of that cost. I how, don't about, know. how about fuel for the car? I don't know. How about I don't your mother's know. clothes, sister's I don't know. clothes, I don't know. medical, I don't maintenance, know. I don't know. phones, internet, no. TV? No! You know what any of that costs? I don't know. The answer yes. is, you don't know. And what's yep. more, 
You don't. I, I don't. Did you hear him? Do you? No. So he get his own job. Careless. Do oh you God. Much money you have. You you get your allowance at her yes. discretion. The woman you send down the hall to no, he didn't. In a small oh no, Doctor Phil, yeah, please. Right. He off. didn't send him down. Can we not put it this way? The woman you send down the hall to live in. No, he didn't send her down. Like imagine in my house now. This is my room, right? And my kids, they've got their room. And then my first son came one day and like, mommy, you know what? Move into that room. Well, I want to move in here. And then I pack my stuff and I go. Then I'm the one. He's the one that said, no, what? For you to even move and go to the smaller room. He didn't. She gave it. She said it. She said it. I moved into the smaller room because he had more clothes. So he didn't send his mom to the smaller room. Please. Let's not put this on this child. Make it look like, oh, he's a small child. He's this. No, he's that. All I just want you all to understand is that this started from somewhere. This started from parenting. This started from something that would have been given to this child. He's been denied of it. He's parenting. No one to say yes and when to say no to a child. No one showed that boy. This is his life. This is his reality. And now he's living in his reality. And now we want to put it that, oh, you asked your mom to. No, he didn't ask his mom. His mom even clarified it. She said it, that she moved into the smaller room for him. So let's try and get that right. He didn't move his mom. His mom moved for him. Majority of things happening in life today is the kind of things that we taught our children. The kind of liberty we let them have. Because we are working, oh no, I can't do this because they are going through. No, no, no. Like I said before, my mom, we, my mom has six boys. I have six brothers. And yeah, bless, I lost one and I have six, five brothers now. My brothers are men, six foot something. But till the day my mom closed her eyes. My mom can't be talking and you'll be looking her straight in the eyes. No, no, no. I know that cultures are different. Like where I am right now in London, when someone is talking to you, you need to look at them in the eyes, right? But in our culture, back home in Africa, I don't know about other tribes, but I know in Igbo land where I come from, it's kind of like disrespectful when an adult is talking to you and you're looking at them in the eyes. So when I came here newly, I struggled with that. So when someone is talking to me, I'm like, oh God, why are they looking at me in the eyes and all that? So these are things that you have to, you have to groom your children how they should grow. My one now, they, oh, I'm not just, they know when to stop, they know when to go. Like my child can't, even when they need something, I don't let them decide what they need. If I can't afford it, I will let them know I can't afford it, but in a good way and reasons. But not that, oh, mommy, I want this now. And I'll be like, oh, where can I get this? My child wants it. No, no, no. And I don't place them. Oh, you will first ask me how much am I making to place someone on allowance. <laughs> so on that one. And that allowance one, I can't even say anything because I'm not making that much to place anybody on allowance. I'm even trying to feed, not to talk of allowance. So yeah, she's making the money. She placed him on allowance, good for her. But now this is the repercussion of everything she has done in the past. Now, well, it's good for her that she's trying to stop him now that he's still a teenager. So hopefully something good will come out of this. I am hoping because this boy needs to be stopped. Like this boy needs to be stopped. If he's this, how old is he? He's just a teenager and he is buying a pair of shoes for a thousand. And he said he spent a thousand plus and he bought, oh my goodness. Yeah, something needs to be done. Something needs to be done. Yeah, let's carry on. He doesn't have to have mm -hmm. iPhones, Xboxes, televisions, yes. no, no, any I of that. No, 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 no. He's just talking to himself. <laughs> I'm telling yes. you the truth. Yes. Those things are luxuries. What he needs is a room. Those things are luxuries. With a bed and a pillow and a blanket. <laughs> That's it. He needs. No, he probably needs two shirts, two pair of pants. Yes. Oh no. That's two, not me. Oh yes. Two <laughs> pair of socks. <laughs> no, and no. One pair of shoes. Now the reason he needs two shirts that is, is not because possible. he'll wear one while he's washing the other one. No, that's not <laughs> he needs two pairs of underwear, oh, no. so he wears one while he's washing the other. <laughs> two pairs of pants, so he wears one while he's washing oh, no. the other. That's why you need two. You want to be clean. No way. That's I'm gonna not going to happen. The steps I would. Yeah. <laughs>
He said it's not gonna happen. Remember what I said when we started? Kids are like sponge. Whatever you put in is what you will take. Whatever you don't put in, you can't. My mom is not here now. My mom passed away 2016. There are some, there are some certain things I want to do. I will remember where I come from. I always have to remember my roots. If you are grounded, you are grounded, regardless of where you go to, regardless the kind of friends. I know that, yes, yeah, sometimes people get influenced by their friends or sometimes youth exuberance or something gets to them, which is okay. But if you've built that foundation with children, they will always tap into that foundation. They will always. But when you don't build that foundation, you can't just that. I tell people all the time, I went, when they are little is when you have to do your job as a parent. Mainly we African moms. Not when they are older. And then you start going to one prayer house or another. Start fasting. Oh, I need to fast. My son is not. Fasting cannot change or praying day and night will not change anything for you. Now is your time to do the job. Do the job now so that when they grow older, you have time to rest. When they grow older, they will know what to do, the right thing to do and when to do it. Now you have time to rest. But when you don't invest in them, when they are little, they are investments. They are. It's not like they are investments where you know, oh, I will gain profits when it comes to this time. It's not all about that financial profit or whatever profit you want to call it. But it's a profit of peace of mind. When you train your kids properly, you will have your peace of mind when the time comes. But when you don't train them properly, when the time comes, you will be running helter skelter. Is that what you want? So please, every parent out there should learn. It's not everything your child wants they will get. It's not you depriving yourself of things that are meant for you, for them thinking, oh, I'm trying to do this. You are not helping your child. I could remember my auntie one time my cousin her hair was really long and then every time I, my auntie would want to make her hair buy this like the most expensive hair and one day my cousin was like mommy you know saying that money you they waste like every time you go just they buy me the way she said it it was so my auntie started crying my auntie felt it she's like oh so i'm wasting this money and she's not even appreciate that is not what they want they want your love they are kids they don't know all these expensive all these designers yeah he started noticing it now because social media have made their eyes open. Yeah, when he puts it, people like, because it's every rubbish that people want to run to. But what makes sense, nobody will like. People want to run to where, oh, look at this little child dripping, dropping. I don't know, I'm just hearing the drip drop today. So look at this little child dripping, dropping. And that is what they want to comment on. But yeah, you have to do your job. If you want that peace of mind, if you don't want to be like this woman being on this show, you have to do your job early. You have to do your job. Consider, you have to do your job early. You have to consider your children. If you have kids, they should be your number one priority. Whatever you're doing in life, you have to put them first. You have to put their up upbringing first. You have to think about how to do your job as a parent. You have to think about your near future. How peaceful do you want your home to be? How peaceful you want your home to be is how you train them will lead to that tomorrow. I, like I said before, I, ha I have six brothers and in all my six brothers, for so one day we never had a fight in my house. No. They are men now. We can talk. We can do everything. But that has never happened. And when it's time to clean the house, everybody have their duties. When it's time to wash the plate, when my mom have a restaurant, yes, my brothers go to the shop. They wash plates. They help serve people. She won't do that all for you. She won't go, oh, oh they are boys, don't do it. Okay, um, Fina, come do everything. You have to do everything. No, she didn't do that. Everybody have their chores to do. Even if you're to talk of the one that is being spoiled a little bit, it's even me when I, be, when I grew a little bit older that I can tell my brothers, you know what? Oh, I'm, I don't really have time today. I will tell my younger brothers, can you help me wash my clothes? That is it. But when we're little, you have to do what you have to do. My mom will make you do it yeah okay guys that's the end of the video and i'll see you guys again in my next video please don't forget to subscribe like and turn on your post notifications so you'll be the first to be notified whenever i post a video i can't even remember why i'm dancing here but whatever that rocks your boat man do it i love dancing i just love happiness it's just that i love finding a way to tap into see you guys in my next video bye